Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most kind, most merciful. My dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be on you and the mercy of Allah and His blessings. In this short presentation, we shall be talking about a very, very important topic. And that is about our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he is probably the most important man in our lives. He is the most important guide. He is the most important leader. And he is the most important example. And we shall be looking at some of his qualities. We haven't got time to look at all of his qualities. We can speak for a whole lifetime and still not even understand his greatness and his position. But let's look at a few of his amazing qualities. The first quality is, as we say in a kalima tayyiba, Muhammadur Rasulullah, that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam peace and blessings be upon him. That is not a small position. That is a huge position. There were only 319 messengers out of 124,000 prophets. Messengers brought a revelation and prophets who weren't messengers did not bring revelation. For example, the Zabur, the Psalms of David, the Injil, the Gospels, and the Torah of Musa alayhi salam. These are some of the books that have been bought and have been lost or misrepresented or changed. But the Holy Quran, which was brought by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, remains unchanged. It's the complete word and speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are already two of his amazing qualities, a messenger of Allah and the final messenger of Allah and the one who brought us the Holy Quran. In addition, he's not just an ordinary man to us and he's not just an ordinary man to Almighty Allah. He is the greatest man and he is the greatest of creation. Said the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ الْخَلْقِ فَجَعَلَنِي فِي خَيْرِهِمْ فِرْقَةً He said, when Allah created creation, He made me the best of creation, the best of all the groups, the best of all the people, the best of all the households, the best of all the tribes, the best of all the nations. He is the best of the best. And to confirm this, He said, فَأَنَا خَيْرُهُمْ نَفْسًا I am the best person of all of these. I am the best of these people. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a special creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is close to all of us. As Almighty Allah says in the Holy Quran, min anfusihim, that the Prophet is extremely close to the believers closer than even their own souls are close. How close is our soul? Our soul is very close to us. It is actually part of us. We can't understand, we can't see it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us, although your soul is extremely close, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is even more closer than that. He's even closer than that. And also, he is a great mercy, not just for us, but to the whole universe. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah says in the Holy Quran, we did not send you except to be a mercy to all of the worlds. And when we say alameen, all of the worlds, we mean universe. Allah means universe. So he is a mercy to the universe. What does that mean? We understand that he's come to guide us, yes, of course, and he's the greatest guide, and he's given us the greatest examples, he's given us the greatest narrations, 
but he came as a mercy to the universe. So, for example, once he was giving a khutbah in Juma in Medina Dul Manawwara, and everyone heard screams of pain coming from somewhere, and they looked around and they realized there was a tree which was crying, a palm tree which was crying, and everybody heard it, it was so loud, and it was very not a very nice noise. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he looked at the tree, he walked up to the tree, he put his blessed hand on the tree, and he calmed the tree down. And he said, the reason the tree was crying is because I used to stand here and deliver my khutbah. Now I'm standing in a slightly different position, away from this tree, and this tree is upset. This tree is complaining, this tree is missing me. Can you believe he knows the language of the tree and everybody heard it? His mercy extends like this. And he is a person whom we should love more than anything else. The Prophet said, None of you believes until I become dearer to them, I become more loved to them than their parents, their children and everything else. So we don't love our parents less, we love our parents a lot, we love our children a lot. But the Prophet is saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you should love me even more than that even more than your family, even more than your wealth, even more than everything you have. Some things we have we might love a lot. The Prophet said, no, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You might love them, that's fine. Loving parents is part of Islam. Loving children and, and looking after them is part of Islam. But you should love me more. And he also performed miracles when people said to him, for example, we don't believe you are a prophet, prove to us you are a prophet. And there was a full moon, a beautiful moon in the sky because this was at night time. And they said, split the moon into two. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the blessing and power Allah Almighty gave him, he caused the moon to split. Can you believe? There were two parts of the moon and they moved one on one side of a mountain and the other on the other side of the mountain and people were absolutely gobsmacked. They couldn't believe they were looking. And then the, the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he joined the moon back into one piece and this was a, one of the examples of, an, of a miracle which he performed. And our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, performed hundreds and hundreds of miracles. And another important aspect is that we must send salah and salam on our Prophet Muhammad وسلم. Salah is blessing and salam is peace. Just like we say to someone, Assalamu Alaikum, we should also say, Assalatu Wassalamu Alaika, Ya Rasulullah. And the Prophet said, Peace and blessings be upon him. He said, None of you send salam to me except Allah returns my soul to me and I return the salam. Subhanallah. Can you believe if we send salam? on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he receives it, he receives our salam, and Allah returns his blessed soul back to his blessed body, and then he returns a salam to us. In fact, Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. O oh, you who believe, send salah and send salam in a very respectful way to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Allah says that I send salam, Allah says the angel send salam and if you want to show your belief then you should also send salah, blessing and salam, peace on the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And finally, my dear children, in this very short presentation, we should also know that on the Day of Judgment, He will be there to help us. He will give us water from a fountain, the fountain of Gothar, 
where every prophet has a fountain, but his fountain will be the biggest and he will be waiting for us and he will give us a drink of this water which will allow us not to be thirsty on this very difficult day on the day of judgment. And the, the water will be sweeter than honey and whiter than milk. He will also help us at the place of Mizan. Mizan is where our deeds are weighed, my dear children. Our good deeds on one side and our bad deeds on the other side. He says, I will be there also to help you. And also, finally, he will be there to help us on Bul Sirat. Bul Sirat is a bridge thinner than a human hair, sharper than the sharpest blade, than the sharpest sword, than the sharpest knife. And we have to cross that bridge over Jahannam, over Hellfire, to get to the other side. So these three very important places, these three very significant places, that he says, you will find me there, and he is there to help us. And this was narrated when Hazrat Fatima anha, his blessed and beautiful daughter, she asked him about this, where can we find you, O oh my beloved father, on the day of judgment? And he said, you will find me in these three places. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us and allow us to show our honor, our respect, our obedience to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and also to follow his beautiful guidance. Ameen. Thumma ameen wa akhiru da'awana. Anilhamdulillahi rabbil alam.